Good day, everyone. This is Senior Clerk Maria Cabello, and it's another episode of Minute Med Talks with Murray. For today's episode, I'll be demonstrating how to do a chest tube insertion. Chest tube insertion is an essential skill for hospital doctors dealing with certain pleural diseases to drain the pleural space, such as air, blood, chyle, pus, or other fluids. For the indications, it is pneumothorax, hemothorax, pneumohemothorax, subcutaneous emphysema, and empyema. For the equipment, we'll be using a cut-down set, such as a scalpel, forceps, surgical scissors, needle holder, curb kelly, sterile gowns, sterile surgical gloves, a glass bottle system with underwater seal, chest tubes, povidone iodine for antiseptic, sterile sponges, Silk O with curved cutting needle, a syringe with local anesthetic, vaselinized gauze, and plaster. For the procedure, if possible, have the patient assume a semi upright position with the arm placed above the head. Wrap the skin over a wide area of the chest wall with povidone iodine, starting from an inward to an outward pattern. Identify the 4th or 5th intercostal space at the anterior axillary line at the site of injury. We do this by identifying the sternal angle or manubrial joint and the structure beside it is the 2nd rib and 2nd intercostal space. From this location, go down to the 4th and 5th intercostal space at the anterior axillary line. Next, we drape the area with 4 towels, not with a single fenestrated sheet. Drape first at the site of the surgeon, then place the other towels, cephalad and caudad, and the last towel should be placed at the opposite side of the surgeon. Secure the towel with towel clips. Infiltrate the skin with a local anesthetic and block the intercostal nerve branches with bevel side up of the needle, and don't forget to aspirate before injecting the anesthetic. Infiltrate up to the level of the pleura. Track the effect of the anesthesia using the tip of the needle. Make a 2.5 to 3 cm long skin incision parallel to the axis of the ribs and well into the subcutaneous tissue. Measure how far the chest tube is to be advanced after placement. Insertion site should be as close as to the upper border of the rib to minimize injury to the nerves and vessels. Insert a curved Mayo scissors or curved Kelly clamp and cut or separate the tissues to create a tunnel or track in the direction in which the tube is to be inserted. This track should be directed posteriorly, cephalad, and medially so that the tube lies posteriorly in the paravertebral gutter. Continue developing this track all the way into the pleura. Remove the scissors or clamp and explore the track with a gloved finger from time to time to make sure that the track is going in the right direction. After the pleural cavity has been entered, insert the gloved finger to explore for adherent lung and then further enlarge the opening in the pleura by inserting a large Kelly clamp and spreading it. Select the tube to be used. And if hemothorax is suspected, it is advisable to clamp the distal end of the tube to avoid making a mess. Grasp the tip of the tube with a long Kelly clamp so that the long axis of the clamp is almost parallel to the long axis of the tube. We then insert the tube into the chest using the large Kelly clamp as a guide. Remove the large Kelly clamp as soon as the tube reaches the desired position in the chest. Palpate superiorly and inferiorly to ensure that the tube has entered the chest. Suture the tube to the skin with a silk O by placing a horizontal mattress. Cut the needle and put it away to avoid puncture wounds. Tie the suture in place tight to the skin. Wrap the ends in opposite directions around the tube to form a series of X's until to at least 4 loops around the tube. Push the suture down to the skin edge. Connect the tube to the underwater seal chest drainage system and remove the distal Kelly clamp. Care should be taken to do this step properly as this may cause pneumothorax if the tube is disconnected from the underwater seal. 
place vaccinalized gauze dressing around the tube and push it against the wound to prevent air leaks. Dress the wound with several pieces of sterile gauze around the tube. Remove the drapes and do after care. Secure the gauze in place with a plaster. And obtain a post-tube insertion chest x-ray to check the position of the tube. That's all for today's episode. Thanks for watching and see you on the next episode.